Hello again, fellow Gears. What's up? It's Maticon bringing you another Gears 5 video. And this one is on the Demolitions Class Skill Cars tutorial. We're going to jump straight into this one. Let's do this. So, the Demolitions Ultimate Artillery Strike drops five additional rounds onto each enemy you have marked, which this ultimate is so great, and it makes quick and easy work for both regular enemies and bosses. Be sure to hit an active reload with your Boomshot or Latch GL before you hit your ultimate so you to do more damage. Now, his passive ability is to mark up to five targets and marks last twice as long as normal. This is also a great passive, especially when paired up with the Spotter Support skill card, because when you combine the targets you mark with the targets that your team marks, and then you hit your ultimate, it's a very beautiful thing to watch all of the death from above strikes, and they kill lots and lots of enemies, so be sure to try and make a good habit of marking all your enemies whenever possible. And now on to JD's skill cards. We're going to start out with one of his golds, Confirm Kill. Every kill with artillery reduces the cooldown for the next use by 25 seconds. This is a good gold skill card because it helps you recharge your ultimate even faster. And it really shines even more when you're using the spotter support skill card. But you could easily swap this card out for bullet boost skill card if you'd like to as well. Moving on to spotter support skill card. Artillery will fire 7 rounds at all marked targets by allies. This is a great skill card that I really, really like. But to reach the maximum benefit of this card, please encourage all your teammates, including yourself, to mark their enemies as they're killing them so everyone can enjoy the Death From Above fireworks show. Definitely fun. All right. Now we're moving on to Custom Boom Shot. Increases damage by 60% and active effects by 30% when firing the Boom Shot. This is a fantastically amazing skill card that I absolutely love because the Boom Shot by itself is already pretty powerful weapon but when you add the extra damage it makes it even more deadly especially with the splash damage i don't ever want to remove this skill card because i like it that much all right on to the razor hail skill card explosive damage to enemies causes them to bleed for 30 percent of damage dealt this skill card is absolutely fantastic as well and it is a must have while playing the demolition class because this bleed damage simply shreds through a lot of enemies and even some bosses so be sure to equip and level this card up right away now the explosive weapons that cause shredder bleed damage are just you know the lance gl boom shot drop shot torque bow salvo as well as frag grenades moving on to the officer's prerogative skill card artillery requires six additional rounds of marked targets this is a good card that i like to use because with the extra artillery rounds dropping you can do twice the amount of damage as normal with your ultimate which really helps on bosses on boss waves of course and it's fun to see the extra rockets come down as well all right on to the other gold skill card bullet boost each explosive or bleed kill gets 50% extra ballistic damage for 15 seconds up to 200%. This is a great card and it comes in real handy early on in your run before you get an upgraded locker and your base set up. But you can easily swap this card and equip it over Officer's Prerogative or Spotter Support, whichever you'd like. Alright, onto the Concussive Strike. Artillery ability stuns enemies for up to 11 seconds. This is a good skill card because it stuns your enemies and it helps especially at lower level when you don't have high bleed killing damage. But once you're higher level, there are better cards, I think, are, that are more beneficial to use than this one. Alright, moving on to the Custom Lancer GL skill card. It increases damage 60% and active effects by 30% when firing the Lancer GL. This is a good card to have equipped if you're going to be using the Lancer GL a lot. I personally prefer the Boom Shot over the GL Lancer. But whichever your preference is, be sure to hit your active reloads on enemies and bosses frequently to get the full potential and benefit from this extra damage card that it gives you. Moving on to the Gambit skill card, plant six extra grenade traps. If you're going to go for planting a lot of grenades, then this is a good skill card for you, but you'll want to pair this up with the Grenade Satchel skill card to maximize the benefit of this one. Onto your Grenade Satchel, carry six more grenades in your inventory. This is a good card to have if you're going to be throwing grenades into the spawn each wave, or if you want to plant a lot of grenades throughout your game, but definitely pair the skill card up with the Gambit card. Also, if you're you have a jack in your game be sure to get a grenade locker up for you and remember that using frag grenades works with your razor hell bleed damage skill card as well moving on to the good kill skill card kills five meters from allies have a hundred percent chance of dropping an ammo pouch if you're feeling a bit crunched for ammo early on in your game you could bring this card for horde or escape but when your demolition class is leveled up in horde there are more beneficial cards to equip than this one i think but the extra ammo uh, is always nice to have, that's for sure. All right, moving on to the Inspired skill card. All damage reduced by 32% when at least 10 meters from the Veteran class. I feel that this is more of a lower level card to help with damage reduction, but when your Demolition is ranked up, there are better cards to use than this one, I think. 
onto Lancer GL Mastery, 95% reduced recoil and 13% increased headshot damage with the Lancer GL. This is a good skill card while lower level because the recoil reduction is nice to have, but I'd much rather prefer the custom Lancer GL or custom Boomshot skill cards over this one. All right, onto the Launcher Mastery skill card. 220% larger active reload bar for explosive weapons. This is another low level card to use to help you get used to hitting active reloads with your launcher weapons, but once you're higher level, I feel there are better cards to equip than this one. All right, on to score boost and epic score boost. When it comes to these two cards, if you're not running a high score or a timed run, they really aren't going to do much for you. Moving on to perks, ultimate cooldown plus 50% cooldown speed. This perk is great because using your ultimate more is awesome. And with it maxed to 10, you can easily get back your ulti each and every wave, just about. On to the critical damage perk. Uh, this is the second one I level up, plus 50% damage, which honestly, any type of extra damage you can get on enemies is always a good thing. On to the assault rifle perks, plus 50% damage. If you're gonna be using a rifle or match GL a lot, you'll definitely wanna upgrade this perk for some extra and nice damage as well. And this is the third one that I'll uh, max to level 10 out of the four. And finally, onto the ammo regeneration, plus 100% ammo regen. This perk is okay, but it only refills assault rifle ballistic bullet ammunition rounds, which are the Lancer, Retro Lancer, Enforcer, Claw, Hammer Burst, and the Lancer GL. Now here, what I'm gonna show you is um, when you have a teammate that wants your Lancer, um, drop it down early on before the Fabricator gets dropped. They can pick it up, and then once you have an active reload available, what you're going to do is just, uh, with the custom boom shot skill card, level 6, what I use, scorch the wall uh, with that active, kill yourself, and then once the engineer drops the Fabricator, you'll spawn back in with you know your Lancer and your boom shot, um, as well as the 1000 power to deposit. It all will be good. And then the same thing goes when you go to kill yourself to get an extra boom shot, um, a weapon, drop your Lancer if need be, and I'll let your team know, or your teammates, and then uh, kill yourself and you'll be good. It's just a way to spread out the Lancer to more people uh, for a lot of fun. Alright, what I'm going to be showing you here is the Assault Rifles with JD. We have the Lancer, the Retro Lancer, Claw, Enforcer and the Lancer GL as well, and those get the uh, extra Assault Rifle Damage perk and the Ammo Regeneration perk. These are the Bleed Damage weapons for his Razor Hell. We have Boom Shot, Drop Shot, and we got the Torque Ball there, as well as the Salvo and the Lancer GL, as well as Frag Grenades. And here I just want to show the Custom Boom Shot to Skill Card, the Splash Damage and how great it is. Like, you don't have to get even very close to an enemy Boom Shot wise. To kill it, look at how far that is from that tire right there. Um, here's another example as far as the distance goes, and then one last one here on the other side of that pillar. Uh, fun, fun stuff. Splash damage with custom boom shot skill card for sure. Here I'm going to showcase the officer's prerogative green skill card on uh, using your ultimate on bosses because with it on you do twice as much damage at least usually. Um, in this case, it was not on, and we did over 41,000 damage there. And this is not with any active reloads or anything. Here it is with the officer's prerogative skill card on. And we basically, as you can see, did over 87,000 in damage. So that uh, green skill card is great for bosses if, uh, if you like to bring it. That's why I like using it, for sure. All right, and I'm going to show you here the gold confirmed kill skill card in action. Um, we have a few more targets there. I use my ultimate with my spawner support. My ultimate cooldown perk is at level 10 as well. But uh, as you'll see, after I use that ultimate, I fire three boom shots into the spawn, and boom, look at that, I got my ultimate back already at the same way. That's how fun and good uh, the confirmed kill skill card is that I like to use. Alright, and here we're going to cover the spotter support skill card, and how fun it is to use when you have a tactician with interrogation on. Basically, he's going to use that, and boom, look at all those targets, hit your ultimate, spotter support, watch the fireworks show, enjoy it. <laughs> Loads of fun, spotter support at its finest with the interrogation card, that's for sure. And look at how far the ultimate recharges from that. And pretty much just another boom shot in, and I'm just about done with the recharge, and I have my ultimate back. So, great stuff, spotter support. On to the Demolition Class Escape setup. We have, uh, it's fairly generic on his cards go, but we have uh, Bold Boost, Razor Hill, Good Kill, Officer's Prerogative, and Custom Boom Shot. 
Now, one thing to note with good kill is at level 6, the ammo drop rate is 100%. But if you're doing a hive where ammo is not going to be an issue, you could swap this out with spotter support or the concussive shot skill card because it can be really convenient to have a group of enemies stunned for up to 11 seconds, that's for sure. All right, um, one thing to mention on Escape with the custom Boomshot card, there are 20 different hives with a Boomshot weapon pickup on them. But if you do a run without a Boom, you could swap out this card with the Concussive Strike card. Or if you're running one of the eight hives with a Lancer GL, you could swap out the custom Boomshot for the Lancer GL skill card. And even possibly, if there's going to be a lot of grenades on your hive, you could swap that out for the Grenade Satchel. Now, there are 20 hives that have Frag Grenade pickups on them. There's also 11 hives that have drop shot pickups and 11 hives that have torque bow pickups for the razor hill bleed damage. And skill card, thank you very much to Dr. Schwazi for that one. Also, the demolition class can really shine a lot more in escape with a tactician in it as well, refilling explosive ammo. And when running the spotter support card paired up with tactician using the interrogation skill card on your hive, your runs can be a lot of fun as well. And here I'm uh, showing you just the good kill skill card and how fun and convenient it is to have all of these ammo crates early on, especially in your hive run. Your just teammate needs to be within range of you killing the enemy. And we got one more reject here that we're going to kill. And I mean, you can see on the floor right now, four large ammo crates at 100% drop rate. That level six is definitely fun and good stuff. And then um, here, I'm going to show you the safe room. If you hit start and then start again really quick, um, if you hit your D-pad, you can see that you can actually check your ammo and what guns you have equipped. It's just kind of nice and convenient to tip there while you're waiting for the uh, safe room door to open. But with that, that'll wrap up this uh, JD Skill Card class tutorial. And as always, enjoy it, everybody. Thank you.